levels of tryhard with certain picks. If you log in a Lulu, you are really trying to win. Big time. If you go like team or something, you're obviously having a bit more fun. Yeah, There's it's different levels. It's really interesting because during preseason, you know, a lot of these guys have put in a lot of time because they they have time to relax and uh, just practice up. And they have identified some extremely strong individual picks, but how much of it is that they just want to have fun well, as Kobe, well? And as Bjergsen said, help us entertain the fans. What are these extremely strong Bring. picks on 523? Okay, so Kindred's already up there, so that's a freebie. But also Mundo and Quinn, extremely strong right now as far as junglers go. AD carries misfortune, has risen really high in the ranks. Yeah. Wasn't quite there before. We see a lot of Tristana as well over in Europe. Get the double. Crit item, static shift, and rapid fire, and you go completely nuts on three items. Somebody's gonna take Bane. This is still, I mean, we're just banning away some of the some of the boring champions on the side of of, uh, of Team Ice here. I was gonna say Team <laughs> Europe, but it's like, <laughs> you know what? It's both. Well, it's, a, it's a European it All-Stars team ice. representing Team Ice. But man, we, I'm gonna have to keep you guys. In we've got this great. We've got this great position where we can actually see the players' screens, and Anivia was being practiced by Froggen. Oh, really? And the desk oh, was wow. talking about him being bad. Great. Come on, first pick, Froggen, Anivia? No. Why not? So, first pick is Hoonie. <laughs> I, walk, I walked by Froggen before before the show today, uh -huh. and he told me straight up, he's not going to play any of the boring champions. Now, obviously, Anivia is not boring for him, but he might consider too OP, almost, uh -huh. to play in this mode here. He wants to beat in a something a little bit, you know, a little bit more fun. We could maybe see, you know, what could Frog and play in mid? Speaking of fun, we saw the F Team Fire streaming uh, five rank fives games last night, and they had Jungle Bard, oh yeah, uh, AD Carry, Poppy, so Jungle Lucian at some. But is point that is that well. just for everybody to enjoy, or do you think they're actually gonna pull that out? I mean, come on, Koblar, what do you think? I know Jungle Bard. It's funny. I think the first couple picks will tell it because so far the bands are These are legit. The, they're towing the line with the bands. These are definitely competitive bands for preseason on patch 5.23. All these champions Fiora are extremely strong. Goes through. She's still okay. There he goes. She gets banned. She's very strong as well. We have seen this one before. <laughs> there was also a yeah, first Hoon, pick, wasn't it? bringing real real life memes here to the All Stars with the Cassiopeia, but they All don't right. do it. So. Try hard, whatever you said, this is try hard start here for Team Ice. It is, it is. I mean, we don't know if it's gonna be jungle Elise. Could obviously go different lanes, but I expect it. It is amazing. It's amazing. It's a German humor. We this, lock in. Champions like Elise. Hilarious. There's been a doubt in my mind that Amazing's gonna play that. But for both of these teams having a little bit of fun, Jax is still up. Rageblade users are still very, very happy yeah. on this patch. And but still this, is, this is the patch where we introduced 300 uh, gold cost increase for the Rageblade. It is still very strong, though. It's just such a weird item to play with because it goes to me like 60% gold efficient when you have it in zero stacks, like 180% when it's fully stacked. So unless you use that window properly, you don't really do too much with it. And I think the professional players will know how to play around it. Then again, we might get a very bloody game, and then you I keep the sex so. going, you know, you can just keep rolling over people. I certainly hope we do, but that is try hard as well. Picks are bad. Look, this, this is legit. <laughs> These guys are playing to win. There is a lot of bragging rights on the line. Still, still that, there, there it is. is. Okay. Classic Medios. I like Back that. when Cloud9 just dominated North America. And basically, he didn't learn anything <laughs> the whole year. He's just playing the same old. I mean, that's fine. I understand it. I respect it. Amazing is doing the same. So we can't really say too much about the junglers here. Well, we're not going to have to say something about the rest of Team Ice's picks because they're still toying with a few options. Lucian, very strong. Essence Reaver first. Start ice skating around is a term the Australians used a lot during IWCA. And that's the thing about these AD carries now. This is still the patch where you can do both Static Shift and Rapid Fire. So that's 60% crit. Combine that with Essence Reaver or with Infinity. I mean, yeah. so either you have the insane damage or you have yeah. the in CDR. Like, AD carries on three items are so, so strong. Lucian is definitely one of the top picks. Is he gonna do it? Is he gonna do it? I'm watching Froggen's screen. He's not hovering over lock yet. Is it too easy for him just to log in and He should do it. He should do it. Of course. You're it's one to win this champion one. on day one. Well, Kasing's gonna play another signature, and I think we're in for a very serious game here. Yes. So Team far, Ice yeah. have got themselves a great composition to pick off champions and skirmish. Yeah, Kalista is a little bit different now because Hurricane obviously offers crit, less attack speed, and so on. So we might see him go more like Infinity Hurricane as the build. You rely more on critting, but it's still a very, very strong pick, oh. and obviously, she still offers all the utility she had before. Yeah, play the Ruin King first, also popular with some of the crowd still. This bottom lane though, so much versatility here. Team Ice have already locked in really, really scary early game. 
and a lot of dive potential as well with that Elise. And it's smart. I mean, we are currently in a meta where games are a little bit faster. There's more gold coming in, getting down these towers, really start to snowball. So get a strong early game and also try and tilt the North American team. Well, they didn't insta-lock that Cassiopeia, so <laughs> we're fine. <laughs> you can still insta-lock it. It just has Cassini's to do it for him, then they can swap. Could do it later. Uh, they could, they could put that Thresh somewhere else, but for Team Fire, they know at least one of their solo loans is going to get countered. And for okay. Hoonie right. and for Froggen, they know they're going to be up against Bjergsen Syndra. Yeah. First pentakill of the EU LCS in 2013. Oh, yeah. Back when you were still first, relevant, for First game we won. That Technically, was the, very it was the first second, game. second or third game he was playing, though. You did lose it one on stage. But that ruins the story. Everyone forgets that. Yeah, yeah. It's a lot better to just say we were that's 0 9. Here. He <laughs> jumps in, he comes on stage, 17 years old, gets a pentacle, we win the first game, and we won like four games in a row, and everyone was super happy. What I'm and saying. Then we weren't relevant and got relegated anyway. <laughs> <laughs> who cares? Yes, who cares about <laughs> ancient You just times? said you wanted to hear the story. Right, right now, Team Fire, they have so much pick potential. Bard is insane right now with the mobility that he has and oh. being able to build the Spell Thieves into Frost Queens. It, once you get Frost Queens, it's guaranteed picks with your team because Bard has so much mobility. You can follow up on those slows. And Zach and Syndra, some of the longest range engage that you can have in the game right now. Right, very bad. There's a lot so of cool and it We saw so much cool Bard down from IWCA. Yeah, and pick. we'll see what Aphrobu's going to do with it. But it is going to be Jax in the top lane, so we okay. are going to see that Rage Blade in Hooney's hands. And Froggen on screen, he's ecstatic because he's got Bird is the word. Team Ice yep. and yeah, Nivea, yeah. Freljord, <laughs> it's it's meant to be. Froggen's and Nivea versus Bjergsen Syndra. This is a matchup for the ages. <laughs> and Dara Sin! There it is. Okay. We're really going to see for the EU team here. I mean, this is really just camp for Hooney. Get the Jacks rolling against the Singe, who's not running Flash up in that top lane. And then you have so much pick potential as well, and a split pusher compared to <laughs> what the North American team here is bringing. As they said, playing for the fans. <laughs> gonna quote uh, Krepo from the analyst desk. It'll be the first time that Amazing's gonna gank for Dyrus. Yeah. We're going to see it, and we'll see whether or not Camp Dyrus is the way to win. And if also, you know, for the viewers who uh, have recently tuned in to League of Legends, Dyrus was always known as a Singe main spamming the laugh even pre-season before even season one. Yeah. He was a uh, singed as well as a Jax player. So he'll be able to know the matchup on both sides. Well, on this patch, I much prefer the Jax. Singed is actually pretty strong on this patch as well. Singed, Trevor. Yeah. <laughs> singed got a few buffs, also some patches ago. Trevor. Coming into this. Rod of Ages is extremely that strong is, right now. I'm really going to see an A. Rylai is singed. still good. I'm telling you, there's a lot of good stuff working for Dyrus. If he goes Rylai's and Rod I'd Vegas, love to see that. He might just get completely destroyed. Like, two seconds into the team fight, into the gank, he's just dead. Also, Dyrus is immune to tilting when playing Singe, so we'll see who gets the How can you say that? How, how is that even a bad right, thing? Off, this this is all star. Principle. You can't tilt here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, exactly. you can always just go out and say, fun. hey, I was just having fun. Yes, 0-10, I flashed into the wall. It's okay. <laughs> it's all part of the joke. And then it's okay. Nobody's going to blame you. I like that. They, everyone's got an opt out. Uh -huh. Opt out yes. if you do those, those wall flashes. Except for the European players if they lose. Uh, we did have a client crash on stage, guys. So we're just going to get everybody back into the matchup and then get those picks and bands underway. Um, team Ice, I think it got a little bit more of a legit team comp. But I think <laughs> if, if, if Afro's Bard can pull off some of those sick roams, yeah, yeah, yeah. get so, the Yerks enough yes, as well. The Afro Bard plus... The Meteos uh, Zach is really, really strong at ganking mid lane. And teams that gank around mid lane for Bjergsen have a lot of success in North America. And we're currently in North America. Well, wouldn't you say had? Wouldn't, <laughs> is, wouldn't, All right, wouldn't, true. wouldn't past tense be a little bit more <laughs> applicable? But yeah, Picks and Bands is up and running. The guys are going to run through that as quickly as possible. But I mean, Deficio, I, I saw a little bit of uh, doubt there when you're looking at Team Fire. Oh, you're getting a little worried there? there. You're a little, little nervous. I mean,. It does have potential. <laughs> I'll say it's so much. You know, it has potential. I think it's pretty bad compared to the European one. <laughs> but but isn't this bias? Isn't this bias? Aren't you just saying that because you're a shoutcaster? Ignore the teams. Yes. Ignore, ignore the teams, okay? Just look at the champions. EU has the best comp. But <laughs> that doesn't mean <laughs> ignore anything. Ignore the teams. EU has the yeah, best comp. Yeah, some know. Okay, the team on the <laughs> left side. You know, I'm going to say it like that. Hey, hey, take a deep breath, guys. You're getting a little excited here. Explain yourself to Fish. You can't just say they have a better okay, comp. Okay, okay. I think Darius is going to die like probably 100 times. Okay. 
And that's obviously going to mean that... That's Rooney due to the team comp, right? Yeah, yeah, due to yeah. the team comp. That's the team comp, guys. Come on. Amazing's looking at us right now. I'm not sure why. Yeah, <laughs> getting, getting a bit of an awkward look here from Mr. Stuken. Now, Hoodie as well, man. We know By the way, can players. you say, can you actually say amazing surname? Stuckensnader? Nice! That's good. nice, I that's like good. that. That's good. Best hey. best surname, LCS. My last name is Kensler. <laughs> yeah, that's easy, that's not yeah, impressive at all. He's German. Yeah, that's, was, that's why so was at some point. I don't think that counts anymore. Does it, Kobe? As soon as you <laughs> migrate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be loading on the rift very, very shortly. The champions are locked in. Jump onto Twitter. Let us know who you think is actually going to be victorious for this first one. Yeah. There is 100 points on the line. Every one of these 5v5 Rift matchups that is not a fun mode is worth 100 points. Come on. I'm getting animated. Uh, we're, we're in it. Remember the hashtags. We're, Come on, Trevor. Backing you no, I, I can't remember. Okay. What, what are the hashtags? Team Ice. Hashtag Team Fire. Or is it just Ice Win or Fire Win? There we go. See you second ah, okay, You nailed okay. it. Okay. Go on Twitter. The fish show sucks at ice win. <laughs> hashtag ice win. He, he absolutely sucks he's, at hashtag. You said he was going to fumble it. Yeah. I did, and I you were going to pick it up, and you didn't. <laughs> What's the help, Kobe? Well, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. For the first match on the ah, rim. There it is. Okay. By the way, hashtag these are all, ice look win. at this. Yeah. Team Ice see it. is even synchronizing their skin choice. Color, theme. I well, mean, they are taking this the, Everything seriously. about this says try hard, right? <laughs> That's what we expect. <laughs> you could see North America try to join. Also had the ice skins, and then Darius ruined everything <laughs> in the very end. This is a lot of bragging rights on the line. And we are on Summoner's Rift 5.23 for All Stars 2015. And Let's now. Let's take a look. Nothing really surprising from your starting items. No, seems fairly standard. Huni definitely looking. To be aggressive, but now we gotta see, is anyone gonna lane swap? Welcome Are we just gonna say no, we do standard lanes, well, get the 2v2, get, get, get the one-on-one, -on -one, and try and play it up more normal? Looks like they are gonna go get deep vision right now, so... Both teams. Come exactly on. Teams. This, is, this is what we saw at Worlds. We had a, we had a fantastic yeah, discussion about convenient. the perfect level 1 comp, and Anivia was in there quite a lot when we talked about that. Yeah. But there's not gonna be a level 1, sadly, because they're running away from each other. I mean, Bard is pretty strong in level 1 as well, in case there was a fight. Not gonna happen. So standard invade. Oh, you say that now. Defensive ward was placed by fire. They Ooh. might see Team Ice run through the river here. If they stay in the brush, they can have the... Oh, they've got to do it. Advantage. They've got to do it. Why would Ice go back into their own jungle here? They didn't even place a single ward in the jungle. Yeah. There's the emote. They I don't like want the double it. Lift. Come on, come on. Fight. They're gonna fight. Again. Their spot is still... There's a ward in the river. They've oh. seen everything. Oh, baby. They're gonna get a fight. No, I'm not hopeful. I mean, come on, they're all behind I'm enemy lines. There will be a final list of all recall what? right now. <laughs> yes. Do it. Hide in the Do bush. It. Come on, Huni. Did, Huni's did baiting they see him. Uh, I don't this think is too not. obvious. Uh, Grum is spawning him. They're, they're waiting obvious. for him to start it. Okay, so let's see. You're just gonna be a little late. Trevor, you still think there's gonna be no fight? <laughs> they are gonna recall. Ah, uh, they missed. Yes, it. they've missed every skill shot. Look. Frog and <laughs> hit. Frog and hit. Blue buff got picked up by Amazing. And then everyone like walks away. All right, one zero to Euro. Yeah, they got the buff. Team dude. Ice with a successful invade here. Level one strats, OP. I have to say though, Zach, uh, not too sad about his blue buff being taken. Doesn't hurt him too much. Favoritism. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm gonna see a little bit of a trade yet. Double Ooh, and after. Zoning him off. The best friends club. Ow. The sing reckless. Gonna move in yet. Double lift getting a lot of damage. This is two ex girlfriends of Double Lift fighting. Not connect. Double Lift got experience there, though. They were zoning them and hovering on experience range, so he gets the early level, oh, too. Hey. Who needs in trouble? Come on, Darius, chase him down. Is it spam to laugh yet, Darius? Get not that, try hard again. Get that poison trail out. He's burned through his mana. He's in trouble, boys. Yeah. Yeah. Remember as well, teleport now is 300 second cooldown no matter where you go. So obviously it's a nerf summon, I suppose, so it's extremely strong here in 5 on 5. And as the teams have shown, we're not just fooling around in this 5 on 5. Nope. Again, 100 points and it's pride, of course. Looney. Of course. Bit of a spy, secret agent, we're not too sure. Technically in North America, but now playing for Europe still. <laughs> it's competitive research. Maybe yeah, he went over, yeah. learned a bit from NA solo queue, where you obviously can learn so much. Ah, yes. And then he brings it on stage here. I'm looking forward to seeing the quotes that come out next year. Um, Huni at Madrid for saying he just wants to prove EU's better at MSI and then 
Now playing in NA. And he did. Interesting. And he did. Amazing. Trying to camp bottom lane here. Focusing and Reckless. Seen by the ward, though. So these lane matchups, Cyrus is obviously just looking to farm. Down bottom, kind of feel like if someone gets caught by CC from a support, they're in trouble. But there's a lot of tools to deal with that CC. Well, I think you're going to see at least here this tournament. See if they go for this dive, because it's pretty risky right now. I don't think they uh, would want to try that too early. A little early. bit too early, but, but playing just for farming doesn't really count here. We're going to see a lot of action in the lanes. Cyrus double thorns as well. I mean, you're never going to let the Jax just sit and farm. You obviously want to go and try and trade with him. And if you do spot him amazing, Meteors can always come up. You fling him back, and you do have a lot of room to gank. Yeah. Again, I really want to highlight the mid lane, though, because Anivia is so slow, slowest champion in the game. And Syndra plus Zac, a lot of early CC there. They can make it happen. So the deep ward, that amazing place when he went to go for that invade, is actually paying off a lot right now. You can see that's why Froggen is hovering on the top side. Because Meteos walked over that ward, amazing right, place. See him. Well, Cocoon being held here by Amazing. Fucking gets chunked out by Bjergsen. Not a whole lot comes from that one. Still potions for Froggen to play with, so he's gonna at least regen back up. I wanna see if we get Frost Queen's play here in the mid lane. Yeah. I've seen it on Anivia. There's basically a decision you have to make. Do you want Rod of Agents first and then you want the Frost Queens? Or do you want the Frost Queens to, to get the gold running early on? You can still get a Rod, Rod of Ages later because it also gives more base AP, so it's not as bad to get it and then stack it later on in the game. And also, obviously, it helps you a lot when it, you have to avoid the ganks, get the spooky ghost, 40% slow and so on. The ghosts are great for setting up these hard to land skill shots. So it does help Anivia a bit more than Syndra because Syndra's stun is pretty easy to land. It's so fast. Uh, and especially an experienced player, player like Bjergsen should be able to land it pretty easily. But Froggen can set up the Anivia skill shots very easily with a slow <laughs> that are the, usually really hard to land. Due to the fact we have two mid laners with no extra mobility, again, the Ghost will be even more effective to time it. Meteor's flying in or Amazing with Cocoon. It's so easy to land on 40% slow. And then you just basically win that one on one or 2v2 very, very easily. So first invade here after the laning phase is played out for about five and a half minutes. We just got a really large lead, double lift and afro Looking shoved at in. That dive. This is the mid lane dive and mid lane ganks you were talking about, Kobe. But they've got to get through Egg as well as Froggen's life bar. And we also have Amazing going to the top side here. Let's do oh, anything. He going in. Froggen is going to flash away. He gets egged under the tower. Meteos continues to tank it up. The Thunderlord's Brox. Froggen <laughs> is about to reach it. Flash forward, but it won't be enough. Jurgsen gets first blood. It's North America. And he's coming out from top lane, dude. They got to run. The up. Amazing sinks the fangs. Gets one. Cocoon doesn't find a target. Flash. Leap. Hoonie's now got one. But here comes Double Lift. He's looking for the Light Slinger. He's got a kill. It's North America in a two for two. Kissing. No Kaching. Death sentence. Oh! Flies over the wall. And he pulls Hoonie. Flash forward. Leap comes out. They're continuing to chase. Four kills in less than a minute. But Hoonie takes a current shot. Double left has got his double kill. Oh, That's my it. God. So in the end, <laughs> it was the first gang from North America to get the kill on the tower, use flashes. In the mid lane. In the mid lane, Kobe, you <laughs> predicted everything. Did you predict the four kills after or three <laughs> yeah. kills later? The early roam from double lift, that is not what we used to see from Double Lip. He roams up really early, gets a bunch of kills for his trouble as well. Reckless did get more CS down there, but uh, big cash in there for Team Fire in North America. Ooh. So first pick up for Bjergsen is that Frost Queen's Afro. He's dead. <laughs> he is just a dead kitten. Golden rule for support. If you don't have your flash, bring a friend if you want to place any ward. I don't know. Bard, the Bard doesn't really play by the rules since he has so much mobility. Sometimes I mean, it doesn't sometimes really sometimes should matter. Have. Sometimes if you don't if play you by walk the rules, straight into it. So Kissing oh, holds on with a mad life, gets double lift, and then it's just fighting on the turret. Yeah, he baited his teammate here. Quite. <laughs> Quite. <laughs> goes in to tower range there for two tower shots. He just got his passive, right? No, he used his passive no, on the tower the dive. Okay. So he okay. was on the front lines there just... Uh, like a man. Just soaking. Yeah. <laughs> just soaking it up. All right, and with all of that, Dyrus was farming as well on the yep. top side, so Huni going to have a little bit of trouble. He did get one kill for his trouble, so... If, if Huni's going to have a little bit of trouble, Reckless and Kasing are going to have a heap of trouble. BF sword. A BF trouble? A, a BF amount of trouble. 
Mitos has even snuck his way down oh, here Kasing with lead bounce. Kasing just gets jumped on. And he's going to get dropped. Reckless doesn't have access to the ultimate double. It's going to land a lot of shots of the culling. Yeah. The damage from the Spell Thief's bard here with the combo. One that auto you attack, take from that? he dropped the Thunderlords. Yeah, man. Dude, no. did you see the coordination? <laughs> That's why they played rank five yesterday. Oh, There's yeah. a pink one in the river. After he was standing there waiting, so he wasn't in lane. So you're probably like, okay, if I safe, we can maybe shove it out. We don't have to worry. And then suddenly he just moves over, jumps over the wall. Zach comes in. Great coordination. coordination. Right here. Well, Bjergsen gets caught by the Cocoon. Frogger needs to land a stun as well. Bjergsen is in a lot of trouble. Teleport comes out from Darius. Scatter the weak. Sends Amazing to safety. He's on uh, just over 100 HP, but surrounded. Frogger finds the stun onto Darius. Amazing's continuing to run. The Cocoon comes out. Ignite burns through, and Frogger's got his first of the oh, game. People. Now he's in trouble. The wall will slow Afro move, but there's so many North American players around. And it's Bjergsen, three and one. Europe is sitting in the lanes, farming. Hoonie's gonna hit the tower. Rick is gonna push the bottom lane, but it's North America again, just roaming instantly, getting all the kills. And Hoonie, yes, you get a tower. That's 4 0 for double if now. So about this uh, European team composition I don't know about being Solo. so much better. Prometheus is gonna bounce up and down, <laughs> trying to get some damage onto Hoonie, but he saves the tower for at least a few more seconds. Oh, well, Hoonie is desperately trying to shove it in. North America just plays better as a team. Mm. Not with the team comp. Like, look at the map. They oh, got no, even you got excuses. Yeah, today. <laughs> they, they <laughs> you, were saying, you were saying that no, North America I'm, was I'm slow. I'm praising North fight. America here. Okay. They practiced yesterday. It clearly paid off. Look at the defensive <laughs> pink wards in the river. The coordination we have seen. Oh, uh, yeah. The communication for So much team. backpedaling yeah. here. I'm getting I mean, dizzy. Where? <laughs> we are in North America. Europe is sleeping right now. We might as well jump on that one. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. Got a little bit of pie on your face and feeling sensitive there to fish uh -oh. here. Well, Bjergsen, and then get ganked here once again. You can see if the stun can find either Amazing or Frogger. Told you that there fast, it is, Queen. Man. There you go, there's Ice uh, Ghost. That one I predict. Okay, you, so yeah, you yeah, get that, one, okay, I get okay. one. Okay, Trevor, where's yours? <laughs> I, don't, I don't need to predict. You're the smart guy. He did. He predicted uh, the Adivia. Debatable. Yeah. I learned my lesson before Worlds. Dyrus, so though. Now, Might let's die for see. A pink ward. Death sentence. Will it find? Kasing actually holds on to it. Decides against flinging it out. And Dyrus has got himself a haunting guy's first item, so. Interesting. Where that goes. Not the Rylai's yet. No. Not the Rod yet either. Mm. Disappointing us. Uh, yeah. Nice. No tier either. Changing up everything. I mean, Leandris Torment with Rylai's is super strong. Like, that's a lot of damage if we ever chase him. A lot of, obviously, extra CC coming in, a soft CC with the slow. So uh -huh. that might be the build path he's aiming for. You know, I'm actually impressed down on the bottom side of the map that, you know, Reckless is able to keep up this CS lead versus double lift. Well, he's kind of been farming the, the lane while double lift were roaming. Yeah, I mean, like, double lift hasn't been in the lane for yeah, he's just been three running minutes it. of Yeah, but well. then when you return to lane to be able to keep that CS lead uh, as Callista versus Lucian. Always just push it out. Double lift returns. He's very greedy, obviously, getting everything he wants. Ooh. Wow, that damage. I guess Aphromoo has been doing a lot of roaming as well. And aphromoo has got access to the ultimate, whereas Kasing is still waiting for level six. There's some Baiting. support down bottom. <laughs> great, great use of the magical journey. And even gets away with a swagger. Still though, again, it's North America. Every time they try and make a play, they have like guys roaming from other lanes. Bjergsen was moving down, Meteos was there from the jungle. They're always just in a numbers advantage. And you're just trying their luck, trying, okay, to pull the trigger, see if we can get something, and then suddenly North America's there with like four guys. So dragon number one. Looks to be uncontested as Europe is late to the party. And I want to see now also, with some of the new changes to vision, obviously Sidestone is only now the recharge is on your ward. Yeah. How do teams use it properly? Because if you want to ward your lane, you suddenly only have like one or maybe two wards you can place in the enemy jungle. So suddenly that is a big decision you have to make. Do you want to use all three wards in the enemy jungle and get them as deep as possible to get more information? Yeah, that game does completely change once people start hitting level 9 and they pick up the blue trinket, though. This is pre-blue trinket nerf. <laughs> yeah. So we I oh. expect to see a lot of print. Hoony oh, is Dyrus. just dumpstering Dyrus. So, Rage Blade Rage complete, Blade. and he instantly goes yeah. for the all. -in. Get your 8 stacks and just take the trade. Nobody can deal with the Jax. You need to CC him, you need to kite him around, and then burst him down. Who needs to kind of split push all day long? Now look at the bottom lane though. We did see Bjergsen roaming. They take the tower down bottom and steal away a red buff. So North Americans 
for Team Fire. Cement control of the bottom half of the map. And of course, Huni's gonna get some damage on the inner turret before recalling. Yeah, it's the vision also pretty Any much chance. mirrors exactly that control you're talking about. Oh. They're gonna go in. Reckless is dead. Wait, Reckless is dead. Can we see a good bar? Your prediction? Though? Let's find out. Let's bounce. Reckless flashes away. He's dead. He's and dead. they back away. <laughs> they should have gone for it. I thought they were gonna die off the seeing the mid lane play. They got a flash forever. You got they that did. They flash. did. They got the flash. And now once again, Dogwood wow. is a bully. Death Sense is not gonna find a target. Double lift is just using the culling on cooldown. That did cost Huni his teleport there, even though it was canceled. Darius does now have teleport advantage. Oh yeah, this guy's in the game. So at this point, I do commend them for going for Rift Herald just because, yes, I will always choose an outer turret over Rift Herald if you have the choice. Uh, but the top outer turret's already down, so. <laughs> Interrupts, Meteos. Well, the thing about getting the Rift Herald here is the fact that obviously Huni's lane is going to push so effectively. It's going to be harder for Darius to wave clear. So if he can stay top and push it in, it's fine. But you just gave him bot lane tower. NA can now swap double lift to the top side, and then suddenly that doesn't matter. And to fish out the uh, hashtags that you set up so nicely at the beginning of the day. Only messed them up a few times. Favoring Team Fire. 69% of the votes. Yeah, the obviously, you just 14 minutes. Minutes. <laughs> it Also because a lot of Europe is asleep, probably. But uh, yeah, yeah. Thanks. remember Team Fire, they do have a lot of pick potential, especially with Bjergsen going to Frost Queen. So if they try and roam up here through the Fog of War on the top side of the map, they can't attack Huni. Huni, no flash right now. And I also want to see how the trinkets play out. Uh, from IWCA, we saw a number of teams running four, sometimes even five of the blue trinkets. So That would be bad. I want to find out. You could do four. You could do four. You need Oracle Lens. Need one of those, and then obviously because late game, the problem is when you have the six items, you can't buy any picks. So there's no way for you to deny vision other than obviously the blue trinkets you can see. Like perfect. Heard you like full <laughs> in the river. Oh, Meteor's going full tank support build right now. Cinder Hulk got the sight stone versus the Rune Glaive sight stone from Amazing. No real front line on the EU side, so they're very, very reliant on picks and yeah. numbers advantage. That is really a big problem. When you have to rely basically on Huni right now to spin pushing all the way to victory, but you've lost the other lanes, especially the bot side where two towers is down. Remember again the average level of the team and tower advantage will make minions stronger in those lanes. So suddenly you might have minions and bot lane just constantly pushing down, and then you lose so much map control, and then Huni can't really push up to the tower. tower. So like, putting all your eggs in his... Uh, Basket here might have worked. Well, yeah, Team Fire actually, they're opting into trading objectives right now, even though they're so far ahead. And Team Ice will be happy to trade outer turrets and just trade global gold right now, since they are a bit behind. I mean, this is what you want to see in solo queue, right? If one guy is losing his lane. If you're on the losing side. If you're on the losing yeah. side, right? Go to somewhere else on the map where you might be winning or you should be winning. Play on that side, get some towers down, double it with the four early kills. Just constantly moving around, killing towers, abusing how strong Illusion is. The try hard pick, obviously. Yeah, the try hard pick. <laughs> Team Ice are happy to trade, and they're well, going to continue trading how here. Long, go for two. How long does this continue? No one from Europe or Team Ice is back yet. They're about to take down the tower, but it's North America and Team Fire it is a that has the advantage. Rate. And it's Team Fire that's actually backing away first. Oh, he stopped the recall. Recall animations were coming. I think Bjergsen made it back. Team Ice definitely come out ahead yeah, yeah, again, now. it's a jack great play. He's going nuts on the tower. Wave plays even Bjergsen not enough. Oh, they're going to stick around. Them. Stun only hits amazing. We're only 17 minutes into the game. The rest of North American Team Fire are here. Dyrus could get in behind Team Ice. Huni is in trouble. Oh, they but missed the time. Cosmic Binding does not connect. Huni is going to get away for a few seconds longer. Bjergsen is going to let Ignite do the damage as Dyrus flings amazing backwards. The repel comes up, but what goes up must come down. He flashes away. Oh! Meteos has the mechanics. Practice for you one year just for that <laughs> one flash. Hashtag worth. EU open up the base of North America, but they lose another outer turret and three in the process. Yep, Fragen will be slow to rotate over here towards mid lane. And Fire can keep up the pressure as they call in Meteos as well. Now we're gonna go way, way back to when Froggen held off 
gambit for the better part of 12 years. I feel like we always say that when we have a Nivea and Frog. Well, that's now not it has to happen. Now it's relevant. Now it's relevant. Every well, this is this is the this is probably the hardest patch to do that on ever in League of Legends, as the average game time has dropped down for you know along among challenger players around 25 minutes. Very difficult to hold off, but uh, doing his darndest. Team Fire, though, they'll easily take that sense. Death timers have been increased during this period. Uh -huh. uh, 18 minutes in, they'll be able to get the second Dragon pretty easily. And the funny thing is, Dragon, if we mentioned the fact, we just mentioned how games are faster, 25 minutes or whatever, like five Dragons should never happen. No. So in a game like this, it's basically get the first one for their, for their buff, and they don't really need Anything yeah. else, unless it's right there and you have nothing else to do, you can grab it. There is something to be said for denying just the first one to exactly, the other yeah. team, so there still is that. But you definitely have to be a bit more cautious about what you're giving up, which is the opportunity cost of taking, you know, Dragon 2 and 3. But if you are North American now, I mean, we're only 19 minutes in. We have like, so many towers down. Double if got his rapid fire now. Ooh. Might go for static shift as the third one and then just have 80% crit, like insane. He's gonna get the. 40% cooldown reduction as well. Yeah. And the other thing, you know, double with the super fire heads. Oh, well, he's 30 getting to, cooldown. He's getting to his build really quickly. Bjergsen also, by going this Frost Queens right into Void Staff build, it's a really, really early spiking build. So Bjergsen's also going to have a lot of early power here on Syndra. And it really is one of the There's things. the first part of the pick. And he missed. Side steps, so. Kissing dodged, actually. I'll have you know. He was slowed, so. So he dodged. I give, uh, it's like time goes to the runner. I. I give the credit there. Oh, we're just gonna find nothing. Oh, this is bad for Huni. And still amazing. He's so around far behind. The rest of Team Fire not following up on this. Yeah, though. look at the middle. I think Reckless may be in trouble this time around. Bjergsen is gonna find the stun. Ooh. He unleashes his power. And that's a kill. Froggen will at least crystallize off the wall from Dyrus. Stun still hits Bjergsen, as does the Cosmic Binding. Now Froggen's in trouble. I think he's got egg. If it he gets popped. Cyrus will get caught by the cocoon and Froggen throws out one more flash frost. The culling eggs him. Body block comes up from Kissing and Huni. They do not throw Frog into the wind, but Reckless, now he dies. Again, though, North America is playing so well around the pink wards. They always have a few down on the map. They know where to be with them. Gerson is sitting hiding in the bush with the pink. And then you just catch someone near oh, the Baron. They're going to do it again. Exactly let's, the same. Let's find out. This is a five on three. Meteos is going to find the slingshot. Slows Meteos, uh, uh, slows Froggen down. Froggen oh! with the lift and kills him. <laughs> one for one. And you they are in the trouble. The heat of the moment, you get the double damage from Q. And, and they get the bounty. And Got they the get bounty. the bounty. Through. Global bounty for yep. the team. Don't look for the silver lining here if you're a Team Ice or EU fan. Fair enough. We got the Rylai's build for Darius as well. He's obviously not been able to split push a whole lot because of Huni. Yeah, let's take a look. Huni, Counter Strike is charging. That's a four man stun. Bjergsen's already down. The uh, glacial path is up. Now Meteos is in trouble. He's going to look for the travel. Not going to find it. Gets globulated. And Team Ice pick up <laughs> two kills. I'm not sure that's a word, but I'll <laughs> go with it. <laughs> so you have a Rage Blade Jax here. 21 minutes in, Baron is alive. You also have a Kalista. Soon to be and Jack Blade. Also yeah. Elite. I mean, you can go for Baron right here. So this Jackson is, is there for 20 seconds. 20 seconds on Meteos as well. So this is just some overconfidence from NA. Putting them in a position where they can get chunked. Death Sentence finds no one. Because Singh's not having the most impact this game. Reckless has landed a few spears into Dyrus. They've split their attention. Here goes the Tempid Fate. Aphromu has stalled out the Baron. I think enough to reset the spears from Kalista. They're going to focus it down. Baron secured by Amazing as Froggen is playing Distraction Duty. And all of a sudden, Europe closed the gold gap. Yeah. Right now, Fire are just trying to delay them to get more damage on the bottom turret because there's a huge wave from Team Fire taking it out a bit. Huni does get off the Baron Empowered Recall to go clean up a lot of that money. It is at half, though. So about these uh, team comes, guys. <laughs> there that, we see it. Now that, we see it. No, no, that was a play call right there. It that was, was. That's true. That was North America trying to shove up with double of dead, four man, and then Huni goes in with the flash four man stun. Bjergsen's down. That's both carries for Team Fire already dead, so there's no chance. That's every man for himself, and they try and, and run for the hills. The team coordination is the comp. Ah, okay. Well played from Europe to serve it. Get the Baron. Still very, very even. And double is super strong. Bjergsen can one-shot someone. 
Froggen can one-shot someone as well. I feel like a lot of people here can one-shot each other. Everybody so, can one-shot everybody. One guy gets caught out and suddenly he's dead. So okay. many shots, eh? <laughs> Look at Hooney split pushing down the bottom lane. He's got teleport up. And it's a little challenging as NA's wave clear. It's it's he's not it's in that have to be a one-shot on Hooney because with gun uh, with gunblade plus rage blade, he has so much sustain. If you let him auto attack, oh sorry to interrupt you. All of a sudden, Froggen's the one that's caught. Oh, up. Up, 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 up. is looking for the stun. The cosmic binding finds no one. Friend will not be enough to secure uh, a uh, kill. Uh, uh, but uh. Hooney found Dyrus. He's hammering away on the next. Uh, the inhibitor has secured it. Kasing finally finds a hook as Reckless is looking to kill Bjergsen. An auto attack from Kasing secures it. The Nexus turret is oh. focused. Kasing goes on a journey and it's not magical enough to find a kill, but a Nexus turret is down. You see Hooney, he's jumped oh, off the Double if this healing under the fountain is now Hooney is going to empower those autos onto the second Nexus turret. The leap oh. shut down onto double if Hooney's still going. Now he's looking for the populator. Meteos is looking for the fight. Hooney's counter strike wears off and Afro shuts him down. Europe are in the gold lead and they've got another tower. Again, it's this Jax here. Hooney just split pushing. Dyrus can't do anything against him. Goes down. The base almost dead. There's one Nexus turret on what? 10% HP. It all looked good for though in the mid lane. Got the pick on Froggen. Then Aphromoo went then ham, he followed it. Bjergsen and Aphra missed a few skill shots there, and it went sour for them fairly quickly. Reckless strikes back, able to get some for himself. Well, that's been the only thing he's done this game. I'm pretty sure the play of the Ruin King Hurricane as well is kind of outdated on I haven't done the math on it, but. The fact that you get to crit now. Even if you had, I don't know if I trust your math. Yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> it's, I, I go to Freak and say, do math for me, and then I get all the numbers and I can save. Yeah, oh. that's a that's a rage blade, gun blade combo. And obviously no flash or anything. Slow down and dead. Uh, Tyrus picking the scenes for the fans. Not really working out as this game the, was played out. The biggest difference was the mid-game shot calling there. North America had a giant lead. And Team Com. Yeah. Well, also, double lift going face to face with multiple EU carries. Yeah, that's a, that can be a bit of a problem. True, true. Can be a problem. And we are seeing NA. Four blue trinkets on red. <laughs> Something we're seeing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We saw a lot more in IWCA. Oh, the Guardian Angel picked up here for Huni. So he's going to have to be killed twice. Definitely a tall task, as Fred now Froggen will be. <laughs> well, you kill him one time. He revived! Oh, really? Then what do you do? Kill him again. Ah, there you go. Just make it simple. Well, Team Fire. Well done, fellows. <laughs> Opportunistic. We should be proud about that one. Yeah, that was, that was high five. High five, yeah. High five. Yeah, so high five. Well done. Yeah, well done. High five. Well done. Thanks, great, great, great. That's teamwork there. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if they can pick up this season. That's pretty good coordination, by the way. Yeah, what's a bet, actually? Yeah, we did, nobody missed. I really thought we would. But Hooney's going to take another inner turret. The rest of EU and Team Ice pushing through the middle lane. Meteor's hanging out in the wings, that elastic swing They gotta cross. go all in. They can, if they get a good engage, there is still hope here for North America. Again, they can one-shot with Bjergsen. <laughs> Double if... I mean, yeah, he can take someone down pretty quick as well. So, that's basically the damage. Death sentence finds Dyrus. Scatter the weak Ooh. comes down. Dyrus is just... Butter. He's retired. Gets melted. Oh. <laughs> Gets melted. Oh, that's not wrong. He is. True. My team ice. Flash Frost finds no one from Froggen in Europe. Flash Cocoon will trade flashes with Bjergsen. I call Worth with all the pick opportunities that EU has, and that's why it's Worth. Hooney finds the kill. Gold it is bird. a golden bird of Anivia by Froggen. Afro Moo is taken out, and Europe, as well as Team Ice, are onto the spree. The Nexus will go down. 100 points for the blue side and Team Ice. So both teams came in. I mean, uh -huh. it wasn't just all fun in the pick and ban phase. There were some very serious picks. Uh -huh. We had like Lucian, obviously Nivea for Froggen, the Jacks up top lane for Huni. I think we saw more coordination than I expected as well in the game. <laughs> like some of the gangsters were setting up and the way North America were using pink wards to create picks and so on.